Hi guys, JT here, and today I'll be bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Best of Boomer Shooters Bigger and Boomier Bundle of March 2023. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? First of all, I'd like to thank each of you for your support and comments. I do read and reply to all of them, and I really appreciate this journey that we're taking together. Anyway, let's get into this. And number one, we have Nightmare Reaper a fast-paced first-person shooter game that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. The game's story revolves around a character known as the Nightmare Reaper, whose job is to murder demons that have overrun the world. As the Nightmare Reaper, you are tasked with defeating demonic hordes that stand in your way and restore order to the world. The game's violence is intense and graphic as you engage in frenzied battles with the demonic creatures that inhabit the game's world. You will encounter a wide range of enemies, each of its own unique strengths and weaknesses, and you need to use all of your skills to overcome them. The game's combat is fast-paced and challenging, with a range of weapons and abilities that you can use to take down your enemies. One of the most impressive aspects of Nightmare Reaper is its level design. The game features a range of beautifully crafted levels, each of its unique challenges and puzzles to solve. The levels are filled with hidden secrets and collectibles, encouraging you to explore and discover everything the game has to offer. Another standout feature of Nightmare Reaper is its replayability. The game features a range of difficulty levels, each of its own unique challenges and a range of unlockable content that will keep you coming back for more. Whether you're a seasoned FPS veteran or a newcomer to the genre, there's something here for everyone. Overall, Nightmare Reaper is an excellent game that combines fast-paced action, challenging gameplay, and stunning level design to create an unforgettable gaming experience. If you're a fan of FPS games, then this is definitely a title that you should check out. The game's intense violence may not be suitable for all players, but if you're looking for a challenging and rewarding experience, then Nightmare Reaper is definitely worth a look. And number 2 we have... Deadling. A fusion of first-person shooter games with roguelike elements. You are the first ever recruit into the experimental Deadlink project for the corporate security agency. Not wanting to go through the courts that will cost them millions, the agency took it upon themselves to send you to thwart the schemes of the most powerful corporations in the world with good old murder. Rather than controlling a human, you are nearly linked to empty combat shells. If your combat shell gets destroyed, the connection is lost and all that remains is the tokens or credits that you have collected. The game features brutal and hectic gameplay that makes it hard to put down. The more you progress, the bigger your weapons become and the more rewarding the game will be. Of course, this is at the cost of your enemies becoming increasingly more powerful and more aggressive. You have access to permanent and temporary upgrades with permanent upgrades giving you a boost of strength, resilience, and speed, while temporary upgrades only being available while you are linked to the shell. The world is also procedurally generated, making each playthrough unique. You can also manipulate your surroundings, allowing you to jump to extreme heights, blow up explosives, and get an advantage. You can unlock classes that come with different strengths and weaknesses. They will also change the way you play the game. Unique challenges become available to you as you play the game to improve your loot and make each playthrough worthwhile. Dead Link is tough, enjoyable, and addictive, and at the same time feels wonderfully casual. This game is great for those who are into heart-thumping, fast-paced action roguelike games. And number 3 we have... Graven. A first-person action game that puts you in the role of a mysterious character who is tasked with investigating a strange and dangerous world filled with murder, dark magic, and otherworldly creatures. The game's violence is intense and frequent, with you using a range of weapons and spells to murder your enemies and defend yourself against the dangers that lurk around every corner. The game's world is dark and foreboding, with a sense of danger and unease that permeates every aspect of the game. The environments are well designed and immersive, with a range of locations to explore, from ancient ruins, dark forests, and twisted temples. You'll need to be careful and strategic as you navigate the world, as there are traps and hazards that can quickly murder you if you're not paying attention. One of the unique features of Graven's is emphasis on player choice and customization. You'll have the ability to choose which weapon and spells to use, allowing you to tailor your playstyle to your preferences. Additionally, you'll have the ability to upgrade your weapons and spells as you progress through the game, making you a more powerful and effective murderer of otherworldly creatures. The violence can get quite intense as blood and gore splatter all over as you murder enemies. While the game's combat is satisfying and intense, it can also be quite challenging at times. You'll need to be skilled and strategic in your approach to each encounter, as enemies can be tough and unforgiving. However, for players who enjoy a challenging and immersive action game, Graven is an excellent choice. In conclusion, Graven is a well-designed and immersive action game that will satisfy fans of the genre. The game's focus on player choice and customization adds depth and replayability, providing a unique and rewarding experience for you to explore as a skilled warrior in a world filled with dark magic. And number 4 we have... Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. A fast-paced and intense first-person shooter game set in a dark fantasy world. As the Outlander, you are tasked with battling your way through hordes of demonic creatures in order to uncover the secret of a world that has been corrupted by a powerful evil force. The combat in Wrath Aeon of Ruin is intense and visceral, 
with a range of weapons and abilities at your disposal to take down your enemies. The game's enemies are challenging and varied, each of its unique strengths and weaknesses that you must exploit in order to emerge victorious. The game's level design is also noteworthy, with each level presenting its own unique challenges and puzzles to solve. The levels are filled with hidden secrets and collectibles, encouraging you to explore and discover everything the game has to offer. The game's violence is intense and unrelenting, with blood and gore being a significant part of the gameplay. The game's environments are also designed to be as brutal as the enemies you face, with traps and hazards lurking around every corner. One of the standout features of Wrath Aeon of Ruin is its fast-paced action. The game's combat is frantic and challenging, with enemies constantly coming at you from all sides. The game also features a range of difficulty levels, ensuring that even the most experienced FPS players will be challenged. Overall, Wrath Aeon of Ruin is an excellent game that will appeal to fans of fast-paced and intense first-person shooters. The game's focus on action and violence may not be suitable for all players, but if you're looking for a challenging and rewarding experience, then Wrath Aeon of Ruin is definitely worth a look. The game's fast-paced combat, stunning level design, and brutal violence make it an unforgettable gaming experience that should not be missed. And number 5 we have... Forgive Me Father a first-person shooter action game with an interesting art style based on Lovecraftian lore. You play as either a priest or a journalist, searching for your cousin. However, things aren't as simple as you think, as you have to murder otherworldly beasts and zombies on the way. You will be shooting these beasts with a variety of weapons, ranging from a pistol, shotgun, and all the way to more interesting weapons like the harpoon or an energy bolt gun thing called the energy catalyst. Although each character pretty much have the same weapon skills, they differ from each other from activated skills, like the priest has more defensive abilities like invulnerability and self-healing, while the journalist has more offensive abilities like doing AoE damage, buffing her melee attack, or stealing health from enemies. The game plays a lot like classic Doom, where a character will sprint around maps, running and gunning without any aim down sights. In fact, there isn't any reloading either, so you'll be constantly running around mowing enemies down. Ammo does get more scarce at higher difficulties, so you'll want to watch your ammo count. Replayability comes from not only the two characters, but also in weapon upgrades. At some point while upgrading, the game forces you to choose how you would like to evolve your weapon. You could turn your shotgun into a cursed shotgun, or a machine gun that fires laser beams. Another unique aspect of this game is the madness meter. The meter grows for every enemy you kill, and once you reach its threshold, your screen becomes paste in purple, and your damage and defense will increase as you charge your abilities, rewarding highly aggressive playstyles. In terms of the levels, it is like classic Doom as well, where you are tasked to look for keys to unlock a door to enter the next area. Forgive Me Father is a great first-person shooter game with an interesting comic book art style and classic first-person gameplay mechanics. And number 6 we have... Viscera Fest. A fast-paced, old-school first-person shooter that puts you in the role of Caroline, a space marine who must murder her way through hordes of alien enemies and uncover the secrets of an ancient and deadly cult. The game's violence is intense and unrelenting, with murder and gore depicted in a cartoonish but still quite graphic manner. As you progress through the game's levels, you'll face a variety of different enemy types, each of their own strengths and weaknesses. You'll need to use a combination of weapons and tactics to take them down and survive the brutal and bloody battles that await you. The game's combat is challenging but satisfying, with a range of weapons and upgrades at your disposal to help you murder your enemies with maximum efficiency. You'll need to be quick on your feet and precise with your shots, as the enemy hordes can be overwhelming at times. One of the standout features of Viscera Fest is its level design, which is both intricate and expansive. Each level is filled with secrets and hidden areas to discover, rewarding you for exploring and taking risks. The game's art style is also impressive, with vibrant colors and bold designs that make each level and enemy stand out. The violence in Viscera Fest is over the top and cartoonish, with murder and gore depicted in a way that is both shocking and entertaining. However, the game's focus is on fun and action, and the violence serves to heighten the excitement and intensity of the gameplay. Overall, Viscera Fest is a thrilling and addictive first-person shooter that will test your reflexes and tactical skills. The game's focus on exploration and secrets adds depth and replayability, while its cartoonish violence and vibrant art style make it a joy to murder your way through each level. If you're a fan of old-school shooters and enjoy a challenge, Viscera Fest is one for you. And number 7 we have... The Citadel a retro-style first-person shooter that will take you on a bloody journey through a mysterious fortress. You play as a lone soldier, fighting hordes of monsters and demons, armed with a range of weapons from shotguns to rocket launchers. The game's pixelated graphic give it a classic arcade feel, reminiscent of the golden age of gaming. The simplicity of the visual also allows for over-the-top gore, with blood and guts splattering everywhere as you mow down your enemies. Violence is at the heart of the Citadel, with the game offering a challenging and brutal experience. The game's enemies are varied and dangerous, ranging from small imps to towering bosses that will take everything you have to defeat. 
The difficulty is high, with limited health pickups and challenging enemy placements making each encounter a life or death struggle. Despite the intense violence, the satisfaction you get from surviving a tough battle is hard to beat. The game's retro style and focus on gore make it a unique experience, and it's sure to scratch the itch of anyone looking for a challenging and bloody shooter. Overall, The Citadel is not for the faint of heart, but it delivers a solid and thrilling experience for those who enjoy old-school shooters. With its retro style, focus on gore, and challenging gameplay, the game offers a unique and exciting journey into a pixelated world of violence. And number 8 we have... Impaler A fast-paced action game that will see you impaling waves and waves of monsters with magic spikes in an arena. The plot of Impaler is non-existent. All you know is that you're dropped into an arena in a castle dungeon and you have to murder and impale a ton of murderous monsters while trying to survive. There are 10 levels and a boss level. Besides impaling enemies, you can use the environment to your advantage, such as exploding barrels and jump pads. You also have the ability to summon spikes to skewer demons and heal yourself. The various fog and lighting effects really add to the overall atmosphere. The gameplay is fast-paced, and for every level that you complete, you have a chance of receiving one or two upgrades, depending on how much gold you have collected. Upgrades are color-coded to let you know which parts of your arsenal the upgrade is intended for, like guns are orange, spikes are green, mind is purple, and body is pink. You also unlock new primary weapons as you complete objectives, and these could be SMGs, rocket launchers, plasma guns, assault rifles, among others. Another ability that you have access to is bullet time, so you can feel a bit like Neo or Max Payne. After getting a few upgrades and weapons, you'll feel unstoppable, easily tearing the boss a new one. Impaler is an underrated arena shooter that mixes old school and roguelike mechanics. It is perfect for players who simply want to jump in for a quick shooting session. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is awesome for fans of shooter games, albeit quite a few of them have that classic look which might not be for everyone. But the fast-paced action, variety of sets, and challenging gameplay will keep you coming back for more. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.